Yeah, stealth. Just be stealthy. Sneaky, sneaky, stealthy. Ah! Sneaky, sneaky, stealthy. I fell in the snow! I have to spit to see which way is up. <laughs> There's a bear! Oh! Daniel Boone was a man. He was a brave man. But a bear was mean, so he ran and screamed up a tree. <laughs> oh, you've drawn his attention. Whoa! Nice! I wasn't scared for a second, and I totally didn't just piss my pants. <laughs> didn't flinch in the face of death, which was imminent. Oh, meanies. Ah! We got some jerks here. Yes, yeah, saw this would have been helpful if you snuck up on him, but oh well. <laughs> oh, this dynamite! Oh, we had a kukri. A machete? Yeah. Why you just call it a machete? Because a, a kukri is technically different from a mach machete. In what way? Uh, it's got a weird curve to it. It's got a curve to it, and that's how it's different from a machete. So? I don't give my penis a special name, just it's got a weird curve to it. I... Looking for a Mr. Ethan! Mr. Ethan? Uh, I'm with the mail? Shit. Nobody's here. Nah, he's gone. Where the hell could he have gone? Hey, hey, who, who the hell are you? And why the hell are you here? Did somebody send you? Who, who, who was it? Uh, look for a man's sister. I think you might be able to help. Ah, son of a bitch. I should have figured you'd catch up with me eventually. You're talking about Lot, ain't you? Then yes, I know where you can find his sister. But if you think I'm going to tell you, though, well, you're as stupid as you look. Let's just calm down, Ethan. Why don't you tell me what I want to know, and I'll be on my way. Don't tell me to calm down. You don't know the shit I've seen, the shit I've done. Oh, I'm done with it. Done with it all. And if you're all going to stand in my way, then I'm done with you all, too. So, we're just shooting each other now? All right, cool. Where you let yourself get flanked, moron? Thank God he had a note on him. Otherwise, he'd be screwed. Kathy told me to write this down, on account of probably forgetting about it in the morning. Can't blame her, just a hell of a drug. Not that matters anyway, but what the hell, might as well. Crew's moving out of the cave and into some office that Adam found in the city. Kathy and Adam are calling it The Mountain. Apparently we're gonna need some sort of password to get in now. Kathy says the password's 70 times 7. Like hell anyone's gonna remember that. None of this shit matters anyway, I'm done with these people after the raid. Shit they do, the shit they've made me do, I can't take it anymore. Besides, I can feel the itch coming back. Charles' supply of Jada isn't working for me anymore. I gotta get back to Danny's as soon as possible. I need my fix! God, this is quite a long quest. Hello, friend. What can I do for you? We killed Ethan. Do you want his finger? Hmm, yes. Yes, this will do nicely. Not that I'd have any idea if this is actually his finger, mind you. <laughs> but you don't seem like the lion sort to me. Yeah. You have done as I asked, and such acts do not go unrewarded around here. Woo! Take these caps as a token of my gratitude. Hell yeah, a thousand caps. Ah, if only you weren't such a free-spirited wanderer. You would have made such a good employee of mine. Thank you, friend. Your talents are appreciated. Do you want, do you want to stay here and be an employee for this guy, even though he's kind of scummy? No, he's, no, no, no. All right, fine. I want to stay here and be an employee for him. Of course you do. He's got lots of cool guns. Yeah, and I want them. Yeah. So I got, I got a 20 gauge and I got a 12 gauge. Okay. So I'm going to keep them because I could I can use either one. Mm-hmm. That is a fast 12. Ah, that's the one we're using at the shooting range. Yep. So go into great detail about this weapon. Well, the fast 12 is actually a very interesting shotgun. So it's what's known as a convertible shotgun, meaning that normally it runs in semi-auto mode. Right. So, in the event that you have low power rounds like birdshot or less lethal cartridges, you can actually manually cycle the front of the gun instead of having to take your hand off of the gun and manually cycle the bolt. It's basically a semi-auto shotgun that will still work in pump-action mode. So you wouldn't have to pump it? If you design a semi-automatic shotgun to work with buckshot or slugs, they have a tendency to not work very well with birdshot. Buckshot usually has more powder behind it, thus more gas pressure behind it. So if you design a semi-automatic shotgun to run birdshot, it's going to run birdshot fine, but the moment you put anything stronger through it, it's going to kick like crazy. You get a semi-automatic shotgun and you run buckshot through it, 
then it doesn't really like to feed less lethal rounds or birdshot very well. But this weapon has a lever on it. To this let weapon you... has a pump on it, so you can literally switch between pump action and semi-auto. Well, I, I guess that's one way to solve the problem. On the fly, just as you're using it. Usually when they put it in a video game, they basically make it pump action or semi-auto. They never have it do both. And the thing that's weird about it in the original Half-Life game, secondary fire of the gun fires, quote, both barrels when there's only one barrel on this gun. Oh, okay. So that's kind of weird. It's also pretty big and really heavy. Like, you can see it's got the huge heat shield on the front of it. And the handguard, like the pump on the front, is massive. I know it's a very popular weapon. I've seen it before. That's very common. It's it's incredibly recognizable. Even if you don't know anything about guns, you probably know what a Spats 12 looks like. That's well, a shotgun with a cheese grater on it. Yeah. They kind of got stonewalled by, like, the Clinton weapons ban in the 90s. They didn't sell a whole lot of them in the U.S. You can still find them. They're not unicorns, but they're not very common anymore. Hmm. Were they banned because they were just too powerful? No, they were banned because they look scary. Oh. And because people use them in movies. So, therefore, is bad gun should be taken away. What are some practical purposes of this weapon? To be honest, it is actually a good, like, police shotgun or a good tactical shotgun. The problem with shotguns is people don't really use shotguns anymore. Um, Get it, getting onto a whole side tangent here that I probably don't need to go on. Well, t shotguns are used if you live in the mountains, good for fighting off bears and whatnot. The problem is, because shotguns take so long to reload, mm. and there really hasn't been, like, a significant development in shotgun technology in, like, a hundred years. Not exactly advanced these days. No, not really. I mean, a shotgun is pretty much just a straight tube that you fire shot down. Gotta shove the rounds in one at a time through a magazine at the bottom. Takes, like, a minute to reload the damn thing. Mm -hmm. You can either have a shotgun that weighs seven pounds and holds eight rounds... Or you can have an AR-15 that weighs 7 pounds and holds 30 rounds. Mm-hmm. Most people aren't going to pick the shotgun. I wouldn't. If it uh, if it were easier to reload it, maybe. But if you have to manually load every shot, so tedious. The advantage that shotguns do have is that generally they're cheap. They don't usually cost a whole lot. No. However, that is the problem with the SPAS-12 is that it costs... If you can find them, like, $3,000 now. Hmm. Sounds like Danny's fighting something back there. Yeah, it looks like more Wendingos. Ah, uh, he can have fun with those. Yeah, we'll just go inside. Knock, knock. How many times should one forgive his brother? Oh, shit, is this like the Sphinx? Man, the answer's man. It's man. Come get me, you son of a bitch. Don't bring him over here. They're coming back. Oh yeah, walk right in front of me as I get the shot lined up. Okay, if you insist. Oh, good, I don't have any ammo for this. <laughs> God. <laughs> I probably should have checked that beforehand. <laughs> ah, you just knocked him down. Woo! How many times should one forgive his brother? Let's see, uh, we were told 70 times 7, so the answer must be 490! Welcome, brother. Aha, the code was math! Hello! Welcome, brother, to the mountain. I see you've brought Lot with you, as expected. Uh, well, so you were expecting us. Were we expecting you? No. But were we expecting Lot? Yes. Such as the mother returns to its nest, What? so do the sinners return to the light. What? The hell is this place? The mountain is the light, my brother. The last bastion of hope in this godforsaken wasteland. Uh huh. Uh, okay, where's Lot's sister? Is it Sarah you refer to? I don't know. She is fine, don't worry. For now, we must redirect our attention to that of Lot's forgiveness. I'm sure he forgives you as long as you return his sister unharmed. Great, you're all insane. I am only as insane as I am righteous. So very? I only seek to give the sinners the forgiveness they require in order to ascend to heaven. What are you accusing Lot of doing? He can barely snap a twig. He can barely navigate his way out of a paper bag. If smarts were in direct correlation to amount of atoms, 
He would be the size of a grain of sand. Hm. I presume he's yet to tell you, then. Tell me what? Your friend, Lot, is a slaver. He is the one who enslaved me. He is the one who enslaved all of your brothers and sisters. Right. Wait, what? Men. What? Women. Children. Sell. Buy. Capture. He has no exceptions. So long as the price is right. Every single brother and sister in this sanctuary knows his name with fear. We despise him. We loathe him. We hate him. I did not mention he that. He is the incarnation of all our evil. And for that reason, we must forgive him. Wait, what? Else we will never be able to forgive ourselves. For I'm a little confused here. Wait, he's a slaver? If you do not believe me, you may feel free to ask the hundreds of lives he has ruined. Maybe they will convince you. But you and I have spoken long enough. Please stand aside and let me talk to Lot. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's see what Lot has to say for himself. I'm grateful for your cooperation, brother. Lot, it's been a long time. Um, hey, which one are you again? It doesn't matter who I am. What matters is who you are and what you've done. Yeah, really not helping with the whole remembering who you are thing. <sighs> Take a seat, Lot. What? Hell no. Don't make me repeat myself. Okay, okay. Sheesh. Uh, maybe we should ask Lot a few questions, since this might be the last opportunity we'll have. Brother Lot, are you ready to be forgiven? Actually, on second thought, I'm starting to regret sitting down on this couch. <laughs> Brother Lot, are you ready to be forgiven and to have your soul cleansed forevermore? Um, I'd like to speak with my lawyer, please. <laughs> your lawyer? Attorney. Yep, that a wonderful man I came in with, the one standing over there. I'd like to talk with him, please. <sighs> Very well. I'm- I'm his lawyer now? Shoot her. Shoot her now. Yeah, I'm not really keen on helping out a slaver, dude. That is literally the least important thing right now. Come on, shoot her. Why didn't you tell me you were a slaver? Look, if you're not going to shoot her, at least talk to her. She's going to fucking kill me. No, she's gonna forgive you. Mm, besides, you're on your own here. Fine. Fuck you two. Yep. You have spoken to your client, brother. Now step aside. Dad, he ain't my client. I'm out of the way. Brother Lot, are you now ready to be forgiven? Look, I'm not stupid. I can tell when things are going to shit. So if I'm going out, I'm going out in a blaze of fucking glory. Uh oh. Hey! Okay, he's fighting back. Looks like we're taking Lot down a little bit. Oh, Lot, we could have done this the easy way. Could have, could have been honest with us. Woo! Yeah, if you had just told us you were a slaver, we would have just killed you immediately. All right, sorry about that. Greetings, brother. Uh, we brought you Lot to give you the peace you desire. How do you feel now? Peaceful? Yes, that was our intention. The word satisfaction wouldn't even begin to describe how I feel. I feel a sense of freedom. I haven't felt in a long time. Of course, I realize that you have business of your own to attend to. If you still seek Lot's sister, you will find her upstairs on the fifth floor. Otherwise, you are free to leave. Think she was a slaver too? I don't know. Uh, what's the deal with that Ethan guy? Truth be told, he was never a part of the group to begin with. He was a Kim addict, and a terrible one at that. We adopted him as one of our own in hopes of turning him away from his sinning ways. But, unfortunately, not everyone is so keen on renouncing their wicked ways. Well, you'll be happy to know he won't be sinning anymore. So why don't you tell me about this thing you got going on? The mountain is what the name implies. It is our pathway to the realm above. It ascends us from the lowly sinners into the plane of righteousness. 
The mountain is our home, but in a sense, it is more than that. It is our calling. It, it's just a, your happy place. Got it. Okay. I'm gonna go talk to Lot's sister and we'll come back and uh, my people will call your people and we'll talk it out. Farewell. Or something. What do you want? What's with the mask? Well, I used to just wear it for scavenging runs, but considering it's such a pain in the ass to take off, I usually just leave it on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Valid point. I'll see you later. See you around. Okay. What's up? What can you tell me about the mountain? We used to be slaves. So once we got free, we decided to stick together. Form a new family. Murder people. Sometimes I miss my mom pa. But when I think of all the people here, I don't miss them as much. Well, see ya. Yeah, see you around. Okay, let's go find the sister and uh, break the bad news to her. Okay. Okay, let's not jump to conclusions here. They may have done this because she was a slaver too. Well, there's a special kukri called Bloody Mary. Would you like it? Don't ask me where I got it from. All right, let's go. The hell is that? Where did you find that? Uh, I just picked it off the ground. What the fuck? Fu I... What? What is it? I don't know. You're the gun expert. You give that to me right now. You tell me what it is. All right. Is there anything else up here? Dead sister. No, there's a dead sister. What the... F Someone been watching The Walking Dead? Okay. Greetings, brother. So what the hell is that upstairs? Ah, I see you found Sarah then. Yeah! Yes, it's unfortunate what happened to her. But, like her brother, she too had to be forgiven. Okay. We're just both gonna pretend I didn't see anything, alright? Very well, if that is what you wish. Be warned, though, that there are sights much more gruesome than that in the wasteland. Tread carefully. Uh, we're just going to assume she was a slaver too. We don't want to know if she was wrapped up in this. Good quest, everybody. Bye. Bye. What the? F oh God! What is this? The slaver's dead. Did you kill him, or did you let the slaves take their revenge? Who the hell is this? Doesn't matter now. He's dead. That's all that matters. Oh, it's Blissies. <laughs> okay. What the f it's been a weird day, man. Yeah, it has. It's been a real weird day. Uh, hello. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? What was the point of that, dude? It's killer be killed out here. It's shark week. <laughs> what? what does that have to do with anything?